shoe thing. The shoe thing. Can you sit here? The shoe. We'll put on your sock. Oh, so one, two, two, three. Oh, you look very cute. Where's my handsome bean? Oh, oh I love you. Where's your shoe? Can you find your shoe? Mummy's gonna put on this shoe. No, this is my shoe. Can Wolfie find his shoe? Where did you put your other one, Bubba? You've taken it somewhere. In your travels. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that was quite fit for you, does it, honey? Okay. Ta. Thank you. Okay. Do you like that I'm wearing Daddy's socks? Okay. Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind Busty Bum. So, Mum, let's find Popo and see if she's ready. Mum. Your time and attention Won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay Hello everyone Good morning Happy Monday I'm back I know it might be dramatic to say that I'm back but it feels weird um, to take a break from YouTube ever because I literally don't do that. I started the channel when Wolfie was two months old and he's now nearly 19 months old so like a year and a half and yeah it just felt really weird. I just want to say I was not feeling myself some weird stuff was going on and you guys know, like, I come on here and I talk you through everything. My periods, my highs, my lows, everything. But this was a particularly uncomfortable thing that I was kind of going through. And I can't come on here and, like, pretend to be happy. Um, but also, it just wasn't, yeah, anything to chat about with you. So, I'm back. Just wanted to quickly say that. Um, and thank you for the people who messaged me asking where I was. Also my hands, please ignore them. I mean they all say that you can't grow unless you're uncomfortable and when you're uncomfortable it means you're on the right track. So hopefully that's what this means. <laughs> but anyway, hello! I am going to do a vlog here with you guys, um, kind of going through what my 18 month old toddler is eating. As you guys know, uh, Wolfie is anemic at the moment. We did his bloods to check out why he was vomiting whenever he had gluten uh, and what came up is that he is not allergic to gluten, however he is anemic. So I don't know, that came out of nowhere and was really weird um, and gave me a good kick up the butt to kind of get um, more of an understanding of nutrition and how I could both feed myself more nutritious uh, foods and wolfy. So if you guys were following the channel when Wolfie was about six months old, you'll know that we were going paleo and I was, you know, putting so many more nutritious whole foods options into our diet. Um, but I guess life kind of gets in the way. If you've been following along, you know that we moved three times in about eight months, um, all the while, you know, bringing up Wolfie and in and out of lockdowns here in Auckland and... Yeah, so those are my excuses as to why I fell off the nutritious bandwagon. Um, so this vlog is just going to be me kind of giving you an overhaul of how we have changed things. I just got my groceries, so I'll talk you through what we got. And yeah, I'll continue to kind of flick through a few of the recipes and key meals um, that we are doing. I did buy an ebook, so I obviously won't like break down all of the recipes for you guys because that's... I feel like that's just like plagiarism and really like stink, but I will link the ebook down below and I honestly think I might link it every single video from now on because it really has changed the game and will be what you guys are seeing in our vlogs all the time. So yeah, hope you guys really enjoy this video. I, I'm happy to be back vlogging. I wasn't feeling it this morning, but I had a really good chat with my mum and she just kind of reminded me who I am and yeah sometimes I sound really dramatic but um 
oh that's just who I am as a person right really dramatic emotional gal feel everything really deeply so <laughs> I'm gonna go inside Wolfie just fell asleep and I just transferred him from the car back inside need to put all the groceries away but um this is the only quiet place that I could talk to you because Marlo um my nephew that's his name Marlo uh, Marlo was screaming <laughs> so yeah, I had one friend who was, you know, going back through my channel and rewatching it all because she's a new mum now and she just was messaging me saying how helpful it was um, and how helpful it was knowing the age Wolf was at with each new thing that was happening um, and it kind of just made me remember that that was a lot of what my content was, you know, my channel was born because I didn't know where to look uh, as a New Zealander for information about motherhood and pregnancy and all that sort of stuff um so as much as i love sharing my life it was a good reminder to um still be sharing all that stuff to do with wolf i think i toned back quite a bit of the wolf stuff because i then got a bit nervous that i was oversharing him and overexposing him but i don't necessarily have to overexpose him by me just still being the one on the camera talking to you about the situation so that's where my head's at with the content but do let me know down below if it's interesting to you and let me know if there's any videos you would like to see in general anyway I've been rambling for a solid six minutes now so that's not cool uh, but I will see you guys inside let's do a grocery haul Time for a little voiceover because it's easier than trying to vlog with multiple multiple people in the house got some bread rolls for our family night we were doing burgers got some bread because GC goes through his bread like nobody's business rolled oats for porridge sprinkled over literally anything and everything we use oats so fast in this household got some hemp seeds they're a good source of protein fiber omega-3 fatty acids which is a really good thing as well to sprinkle over pretty much anything really good source of healthy fats some zucchini I'm obsessed with zucchini but I'm going to be making a cheesy green soup um, spoiler alert if he doesn't like it um, <laughs> but that's fine got some potatoes those are also going in the soup and just a good staple in the pantry got some black seed and some chia seeds again these are just great things to sprinkle over anything and everything on your toast and your smoothies so I got a butternut pumpkin before and some broccoli, got some edamame, some coconut yogurt for a good health source of healthy fats, chickpeas, coconut milk, lentils, smooth peanut butter, oh gosh, game changing, oat milk, two soy milks because that's what we're giving Wolfie when he has his bottle of milk before bed. And guys, we got it from New World, so I was able to buy the barista coconut milk that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Bananas. Bananas make us very happy in this Coleman household. And that's it. In the green smoothie I would usually be sitting here with him drinking mine however um, I'm just not but I'm trying really hard at the mama, moment to mama. sit with him and mama. yeah mama. yeah hi baba hi baba hi baba mama yeah mama yeah mama Wolfie I'm trying really hard to eat with him with everything he eats um, so that, you know, if it's something new, he'll like actually try it because he'll see that I'm eating it. And also then he kind of learns, you know, food is about 
people and being together in just like a healthy relationship with food. Um, and that greens powder I used, I checked with my doctor as well to make sure that it was good for him. And it was kind of one of those things where I was like, oh, it just helps me to make sure that he is getting everything he needs without extra hassle. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but what I was going to show you, however, I think I need to sit here until he's done because this one isn't like an anti-spill cup. But what it's going to show you is that we have our own fridge. Are you trying to share? I'm so lucky that the hole wasn't on oh, this I side. Care. You want to share? Is it yummy? Uh, yummy? I'm lucky you eat anything and everything, hey? Mmm. Mm. Good. Um, as I was going to show you that we... <laughs> that we have a fridge to ourselves, finally. Pretty much ever since we moved out of our first place where we started the vlogs, um, back in October, we've been sharing a fridge ever since. So we finally have a fridge to ourselves and I'm buzzed out by how much space we have in a fridge. But I'll show you the fridge in a second. I just need to sit here with him for till he's done. Who do I call if it ain't you? Who you done? Who do I call if it ain't you? I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. Hey, you gotta pick this up on your, you gotta sit on your mat. So you gotta stay on your mats, don't you? And have you So this This is our fridge. Space for Africa. I've got two sides of a crisper, I've got a whole freezer. Lovely. Oh. Just giving Wolfie his breakfast. I'm trying to find a tripod stand to put you guys on. Um, I'll just hold you. Giving Wolfie his breakfast. He's just having um, rice bubbles with some coconut yogurt. Did you know rice bubbles are like a fortified cereal, which means they like put vitamins and minerals into it? I think. That's what it means. And he's having, um, I made these yesterday from the ebook that I was telling you guys about. Bircher sprinkles. And they have hemp seeds, chia seeds, oats, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, apricot, cashews, and I don't know, maybe that's it. But yeah. Just like a sprinkle on top of his cereal. So that's got lots of like omega 3s, um, protein, fiber, zinc, iron, kind of like everything you would want. And he's liking it. So we have swim class this morning. I'm in a swim class with Eli, um, his cousin, and my sister in law. And it's so cool. We love it. The boys love it. But as for his food, we don't have any power here this morning. Um, it's so windy. The wind has only just died down in the last 20 minutes, I want to say. So I was going to make him green smoothie. Um, just because when he gets out of the water, he's so hungry. But he's also really tired, so he doesn't make it home after the class. But then if he hasn't eaten lunch, he doesn't um, nap very well. So I'm just going to take some fruit, a little... Um, 
raspberry muffin that I had pre-made him and two sandwiches. I've noticed such a different in Morphe since upping, um, like him having his iron supplement from the doctor and changing his diet. We went to um, a like kids class thing called Manly Music last week and usually Wolfie's a real observer, like happy to sit there on the sideline. Wolfie, don't put that outside your bowl please. You eat it or you leave it in the bowl. Don't pop it on the table, please. Good boy. Thank you, honey. Happy to observe, happy to watch, um, happy to sit in my lap. But this class, he went in, he was in the middle of the circle, he was dancing, he was twirling, he was like not by me the whole time, right from the get-go. I actually could not believe it. He was so confident and he independently played afterwards with the toys for a solid 10 minutes. Grace and I were just, because Grace went as well, my sister-in-law, we were just watching the boys playing together. I was just like blown away by his um, attention to what he was doing. I feel like his um, confidence is way higher and his ability to actually focus is so much better. Um, he still gets his moments where he's got like ants in his pants and you like literally have to get him out of the house. But yeah, I kind of want to say that to anyone out there if it's, um, yeah, if you notice that with your kid, like, I don't know, look at their nutrition and kind of see, I know that my sister-in-law said that she cut back Eli's dairy and that really helped his, um, able, his ability to focus. So you just don't know how their diet is affecting them and their temperament. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see his confidence because he did take a little while to warm up in last week's swim class. But you just keep getting more and more confident every day, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This feeling won't stop beating me alive It must be Something that I might have done twice I don't want to think about it Cause it's holding me back Cause every time I do I feel so under attack So these chocolate chip chickpea flour pancakes are such a hit. As you guys know, Wolfie's always loved a pancake and these are still sweetened with banana. They've got a little bit of maple syrup in there so that they're a little bit sweeter than his usual ones. But they've got chickpea flour which is really high in magnesium, iron and um, protein. And it's just such an easy way to know that I'm giving him such a nutritious option in a form that he absolutely loves. I know he will devour and eat. Um, and that I can feel really good about. So, yeah, I tend to watch some YouTube and yeah, I cook these up for him uh, maybe every two to three days. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Just me here. Uh, it's so dreary today. I don't know why there's like a full on side door frame there, but it is so dreary. So, the lighting, like, that's me up against the lighting. Like, okay blue as anyway um i'm just wrapping up this video here now i have just been editing it i'm really enjoying it really loving how it's come together please let me know if you like um seeing like the recipes and kind of getting a more in-depth look into the nutrition side to things like if that's interesting for you for yourself or for your kids um please let me know and i will continue to keep like trying to expand my repertoire so that Wolfie's palette doesn't get um, over it, uh, but also so that I can help you guys and your kids and your families. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, if you haven't already. It would mean so, so, so much to me. Um, please like this video if you did like it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. I really enjoyed coming back and just being way more myself and feeling honestly like quite refreshed um, 
and passionate again so hope you guys really enjoyed this video please comment down below if you did like let's have a little conversation down there um i'm always replying to people who comment uh so yeah please please let me know if you did enjoy this video but i love you guys thanks so much for being here for watching um and yeah for loving our little family awesome i will talk to you guys later if even one thing helped you understand or relate, then I have done my job. <laughs>